This next matchup here to Ravens at Titans. This was a matchup in last year's playoffs, but I believe it was the other way around, right? The Titans went to the Ravens. Yes. Um, and this one could be a little bit interesting. The Ravens, again, another team's coming into form towards the playoffs, but you and I know, if you're listening to this podcast, you know Ravens haven't been good in the playoffs, and Lamar Jackson hasn't won a playoff game yet, so that's something they're still waiting on. Yeah, this one's, I think this is the premier matchup of the weekend, at least for me, um, because I think it's two teams that you could see going on a hot streak and actually making the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, I think every other game has a team where you can't see that. Um, mm-hmm. I, d- like, I don't think the Colts could. I don't think the Rams could in their current state. Of course, Washington couldn't. Uh, Chicago <laughs> and the Cleveland probably couldn't. So this one's the only one where you go, yeah, both those teams, they could um, just because their rosters are set. Well, the Titans defense is kind of suspect, but the most, their yeah. rosters are good enough at least where you could see it. Um, especially with the Titans having, I think they are the number one offense by DVOA mm. um, this season, or it's some, they're like top two, top three with the chiefs and the Packers. Yeah. Um, of course, behind Ryan Tannehill's great season and Derrick Henry's 2,000 yard rushing season, mm-hmm. um, but I don't, I don't, I want to pick Baltimore solely because the weakest unit in this game is the Titans' defense by far, right? Um, because Baltimore has a good offense and a good defense. The Titans have a great offense, but the Titans' defense is trashed here. It's bad. Mm-hmm. It's been mm-hmm. bad the whole year. Um, but then you just go doesn't matter because if the titans get up in this game like they did in the last in last year's game the ravens just get put off their game um i don't think they've really alleviated those concerns this year so i think lamar jackson's had a better passing year or he's had his equal passing year compared to last year even though the stats Mm -hmm. don't really show it just in strictly how he looks in passing downs and passing situations he's looked about the same maybe a bit better i just don't know if they're ready to be in a shootout and to play from behind so it entirely depends on who gets out ahead um and i think i would slightly lean titans just because i think Tannehill. it doesn't matter if they're behind or ahead i think he can claw out this win for them um and then derrick henry can close it so I would slightly lean Titans. Who do you slightly lean? I go back and forth on this. I really do. Um, Because eventually Lamar Jackson's too good to not lose all of his postseason games, right? Despite what many Chiefs fans want to say about him. (laughs) Yes, he is. He's he's too good to do that. And I think that eventually he's going to show up, right? Like he's going to have a really good game. And this could be it. Because as you mentioned, the Titans pass defense is very sus. I'm going to be even last year. I don't think it was even his fault. They lost their entire team Mm. sucked. Um, And they asked him what to pass it like 50 times or something that, which Mm -hmm. is entirely not his game. Um, They just, as a team, they kind of get out of their, their strengths and what they do when they fall behind. It's not even just Lamar. So I I think they just need to stay on path more. Um, And it's weird that I want a team to rush when they're behind. (laughs) But they're like the only team. Even the Titans, right. I don't want them to. I don't want them to give it to Derrick Henry when they have Ryan Tannehill as the top five quarterback in the league this year. Mm-hmm. But the Ravens, they should. I mean, that's what they're built on. That's what they do. They're not a volume passing offense. They're the only team in the NFL that isn't. Um, and they're good at it. So I, I, I don't think – I think in the first game, yeah, they kind of, the Chargers kind of did screw around with Lamar and he had a bad game. But last year he didn't and – I'm curious to see how he plays personally. I think that's mainly, I think that's the top storyline for this weekend. How will Lamar Jackson play in his third playoff game? So, And I think that it's valid to think that the Titans will come out, you know, and and beat them because the Titans offense is good, as you mentioned, but I'm curious, Connor, to you, I'm going to propose a question to you. Um, Which team from a Chiefs point of view worries you more? Because when I look at the Titans, I see their sus pass defense and think, okay, I don't think that they can hang with the Chiefs if it goes to a shootout. And then I look at the Ravens and I'm kind of worried about them. I think for me, it's probably the Ravens a little bit more than I'm a little worried about than the Titans. I just, I think it has to be the Titans. I'm worried about more solely because we've (laughs) played this Ravens team quite a few times 
and mm-hmm. each time we've shown we have an answer to what they do yeah um we've shown that their defense defensive game plan against us just never works um we showed it earlier this year we showed it last year so i think the problem with the titans would be they have the offensive firepower to keep up with us when they're down they're not thrown off their game they're just going to keep calling their play action they're going to keep running derrick henry when it's advantageous so even though they have the poor defense um i don't think it matters too much because I, I, I know we shut them, them down in the championship game last year. I just think it's kind of playing with fire to think that we could shut them down to that effect again. Especially yeah. because last year in the regular season game, we didn't really shut them down. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say I'm more afraid of the Titans. Um, I think they're close, but I would definitely lead Titans. The thing about the Ravens, too, for me, is it's hard to beat a team – team three times right the chiefs have done that and it's even harder to beat them four or five times um so i think at at some point you have to think okay you know what are the ravens going to do to to come out and stump this chiefs team because it it is hard to beat the same team three times and this will be the fourth time they've seen them right in in the mahomes era i believe um or fifth Uh... it'd be Somewhere in four or five, yeah. Yeah, so that that's an interesting whole subplot for me too. But you're right, the Titans' offense is good, and I'm not really that scared of Derrick Henry. I'm more scared of Ryan Tannehill and AJ Brown than I am of Derrick Henry, in all truth. But um, I think that Tannehill probably doesn't get the respect that he deserves. 